So if you were absent for the box fill lesson, I uh, ran through it again here with this short video, and it's on YouTube, so that you guys can uh, hopefully uh, get caught, but get brought up to speed on what's going on. But first of all, we gotta make a correction here. This is not the 2002, uh, but this is coming from us via 2011 code book. But the article's still the same, Article 314.16b, and it's coming to us from the uh, article on boxes, junction boxes and pull boxes. So the first step you have to do is you got to obviously analyze your cable. And of course we know that we have a couple different sizes of cable. We have uh, 14.2 and we have 12.2. And so if I were to draw a cable here, we're going to have 14 slash 2, and then sometimes we're going to have 12, 2, and we might even have some, some 10, 2 also. But keep in mind the uh, cables are all identified with the different color jackets. We have white for the 14, 2. We have a yellow jacket for the 12-2, and then this 10-2 uh, is going to be an uh, orange jacket. So it's real easy for us to identify, but it's important that we know the size of all of the conductors. The next step is to peer inside the box, and inside here we're going to see a, uh, a volume, and it's usually going to be in C-U-I-N, or sometimes it will be written inches cubed, like that. And so there should be a volume in here, and I believe these boxes are like 22. And this one's 22.5, and that's going to be inches cubed. So there's uh, volume inside there, and it's going to tell us how much uh, cubic inches of conductor and material we can place inside that box because we want to make sure that we don't put too much uh, material in there because we need some space in the box in order to help dissipate some of the heat. If we go back to step one, you'll remember we talked about the size of the conductor and so the reason that that's really important is we're going to use uh, this table, table 314.16b, to uh, analyze and determine how much cubic inches one of those conductors takes up. So from this table, here in step 3, you can see that a number 14, if I draw this arrow down here, a number 14 takes up 2 cubic inches of space. This column, you don't have to worry about. We aren't going to do anything in centimeters cubed we're always going to be looking at the inches cubed. If my conductor size changes to a number 12, notice what happens. I come over here, I go across, and it's 2.25 for a number 12. So that's why it's important to make sure you determine which size conductor you're going to be working with. So step four, I'm just looking at the conductors here. And so notice I have three number 14 conductors, and I've got them uh, drawn over here. We've got a black one, we've got a red one, and we've got a white one. So that's a 14-3 cable. And so all we're doing is we're taking those three number 14s, we're multiplying it times 2, which is the cubic inches that each one of them takes up, and we get a answer of 6 cubic inches. So for this box right here, so far what we have are six inches cubed of conductor um, that are installed in this box. Now there's some other things we're going to add to that. We have to look at the ground, we have to look at a device possibly, and uh, we're going to continue to add. But right now, six inches cubed is what we have in this box. So as I mentioned in the previous slide, we have to add some things up uh, to go along with our conductors. And so that's what this uh, slide tells us. We're going to look at volume allowances that are needed for the device, 
for any clamps that might be in the box and also we need to do something for equipment grounding conductors as well. And so Article 314.16 gives us uh, five things that we have to pay attention to and clamps are one, devices are something else, equipment grounding conductor is one thing and then there's some others but these are kind of the three important ones that I like to focus uh, this lesson on. And so these devices right here, these are going to count for two allowances. And I, I've got that written right here. And I use the term double allowance. And I use that word allowance because that means it's going to subtract or there's going to be two less conductors that you're going to be able to install because of that device. So on that last slide we looked at having six inches cubed of wire or conductors if we put a device in there we're going to add two allowances to that so now we have six inches cubed but we have to first multiply this by two inches cubed so two times two is four inches cubed so we're going to go six plus four is going to give us ten inches cubed of space so from that last slide with those three conductors to adding the two volume allowances two times two is four inches cubed we're up to ten inches cubed total now And then, once we have the 10 inches over here, we have to do one more calculation. We've got to make a single volume allowance. And that single volume allowance is for the equipment grounding conductor. So we're going to take our 10 inches cubed. And we're going to add a single allowance, which would be two more inches cubed for one number 14 and so we're going to end up with 12 inches cubed of volume that we're going to use up for all of the, our allowances that we have placed in that box. So the last step is we analyze the box we have so in this case we're looking at a box of 22.5 and we totaled up in this example here 20 cubic inches so 22.5 is greater than 20 cubic inches so that therefore this installation is going to be okay that box can hold those allowances it has enough volume to do that so here's an example um, we can run through. We've got three 14-2 cables, so if I have my box here, and uh, don't be afraid to draw this right out. So there's our box. We've got one, two, three cables coming in. So with three cables coming in, we're going to have this many conductors right here, six conductors. Three cables times two conductors in each cable gives us a total of six conductors so six conductors and then we have to analyze how many grounds we're going to have so remember each one of these cables has a ground but it only counts as one remember so one so we're going to add one for the ground <clears throat> and then the next or last step we have to determine the number of devices and this box or this installation we're dealing with has a receptacle so we have to add two allowances for the receptacle so when we add those all together six and two is eight and one is nine so we have nine and I'll use the word allowances so notice we haven't gotten to the inches cubed part yet we're still at the number of allowances so continuing on with our example, 
with one device we add up our conductors our equipment grounding conductor device allowances this equals the total number of and I scratched conductors out because really we're we're dealing with allowances and we take the number of allowances and we multiply by the volume allowance which in this case is 2 inches cubed so we add 6 plus 1 plus 2 equals 9 times 2 inches cubed and we get a total of 18 cubic inches and that's based on the cubic inch value for a number 14 and so again then the last step would be if our if our box had a volume value of 22.5 cubic inches and we just solved and determined we had 18 cubic inches we would compare and again this installation is going to be okay and it's going to meet code.